so I just showered. I have a little bit of makeup on, no eye makeup, because I want to try this out on camera. The Blood Money Palette from Jeffree Star. It's all those greens and golds. Yep. But they don't have the kind of gold I really want for like the top part of my eye. So I'm gonna use this other palette that I have that's from um, Revolution. And I'm only filming this right here because I like the natural light. And I think I can just do a better video for this kind of thing right here. Normally I do my makeup in my bathroom sitting in my sink. <laughs> okay, all right. But then I think we should do something a little bit more crazy with a little bit more green. So I'm thinking like this. So we'll see how this comes out. It's called Poison Ivy. Oh, and I wanted to say, show you. <laughs> I put this shirt on, the money shirt on, because it's a money palette. <laughs> so I, you know, I have a lot of random thoughts and weird stuff going on in my mind sometimes, you know, like, like I'm sure all of us do. And I do a lot of like thoughts about how, why people treat each other the way that they do. And I feel like I'm treated very unfairly a lot of times. I get harsh judgment and I'm trying to figure out why that is. And one of the things that I was thinking about from things that have happened to me over the years is that it seems like a lot of people try to tell you how to feel about somebody somebody you don't even know, okay? Maybe you've seen them around, maybe you know of them, but you don't really know them. And then somebody tells you, oh, stay away from that person, or that person's crazy, or that person's this or that. So what I'm trying to tell you right now is, make up your own mind. Don't listen to the hater. Don't listen to the person that's intimidated by that person, because they probably have a hidden agenda to tell you that. If somebody's telling you to stay away from somebody that you don't know, that you might not even really come into contact with, or maybe you would be friends with them, or maybe they saw you talking to them, it doesn't matter. They have a hidden agenda to tell you to stay away from that person. Why? Because maybe you'll find, maybe you'll find out that you like them better than that person, you know? Maybe it's a girl that doesn't want you to date that person and so they put them down because they know if you got to know that person, you might not be interested in them anymore. Make up your own mind based on your own experiences, okay? People don't just behave a certain way for no reason. There's always a, re a reason behind it. So if you ever hear a man say, oh, well, she's crazy, he did something to her, okay? I mean, most of the time, that person did something to them and they don't want you to know about it, so they try to discredit them. Saying somebody's crazy in most situations is to discredit somebody. I do want to put on some of this here, this one, because I know I like that shimmer in there. Is it doing anything? You tell me because I can't see that well in this. And don't tell me you like me better without eye makeup because I will find that offensive and I will be like, okay, hater. <sighs> this probably looks absolutely ridiculous. What am I doing? What am I doing? There's always like a stage of makeup where you look a little crazy and then you blend it and then it's all better, you know? Kind of like art and painting. I probably need to go do this in the mirror so I can actually see myself better and then like come back and show you the finished look, okay? Okay, so here we are. What do we think? A little bit wild, a little bit crazy. Probably not an everyday look. Probably would look better if I put my fake eyelashes on. I have the pink nails and the, the money shirt. So, just thought I would show you my today's makeup. <laughs> if I got this straight, but the camera's gonna fall if I try to touch it, so bear with me, we're dealing with it. <laughs> so I've been trying to think of things that would be interesting for video, something a little unusual, something, you know, entertaining or helpful. 
And I thought of this, and you're gonna laugh, but yet you're gonna think about it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And over the years, I have done a lot of interesting things with makeup, way before I did any of this YouTube stuff. And then I was thinking about some of my Halloween makeup that I used to do. And I was really into like making myself look dead and making it look real. And I actually did a really good job. I'll find those pictures and I'll post them up here. They're years ago, but you get the point, right? And then I was thinking about how easy it would be to fake these things to make them look real in photographs. And I used to have, I looked for it, I couldn't find it. I had this stage makeup that did bruising and I had this fake blood that looked real and I made it look like I got a vampire bite on my neck and blood was coming down my neck and I had bruising and I, of course I whited my face and that wouldn't be realistic. I mean, I don't know, I haven't seen anyone dead without being in a coffin without that on, but that's, that's a whole nother story. But it occurred to me how easy it would be to fake bruising and anyone would believe it. And I looked everywhere for my Halloween death makeup bag and it's missing. I don't know if someone took it or I misplaced it, but I'm gonna try to recreate it with eyeshadow because it's that easy. And so I want you to see that I have absolutely nothing here on my hands. There's no bruises. These are my hands. You see it, okay? So when you think of a bruise, it's kind of a combination of like a purple color and a brown and almost like a yellow depending on the stage of the bruise. So I brought down the Jeffree Star Orgy palette, which is mostly nudes. It's mostly nude colors. So I thought these could be bruises. These could be bruises. And then, oh uh, yeah. Who else is doing with this with their, their makeup, right? And then I thought the other one, Jeffree Star's, you know, this palette, all the purples, you know, to get those purples in there. So it's just a kind of like a, you dot it and you blend it type thing. So I think that we would start with a purple. And so since I used to use a professional bruising, you know, cosmetic Halloween palette for bruising. I'm gonna have to try to figure out with eyeshadow, but I want you to know This is how easy it would be for someone to fake a bruise and make something look like something happened that didn't really happen Okay, like hello psycho girls So I think the purple that might be You want something kind of deep is probably This one so we're gonna use that I'm gonna make it look like my hand Might have got a little bruise so we're gonna do a little dab Okay, and then we're gonna kind of blot it a little bit. It's maybe too light, but it kind of looks like a bruise, right? Then I'm going to blend it with like a brown color. So I'm gonna want something slightly dark. So I'm gonna take here that. I'm gonna kind of go in there and then I'm gonna kind of blend it a little bit. Maybe that was too much brown. We're gonna kind of, but we can blend it. We can blend it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We can fake these bruises. Okay, I don't have a yellow. Do I have a yellow? I don't have a yellow. That's okay. We got a purple. I'm gonna take a purple again. We're gonna kind of get in there and see how, if I develop it, start developing it, kind of mixing it around, that looks like a bruise, doesn't it? In a photograph? Come on. Anyways, thought I would share that with you. It's random, I know. I'll find my Halloween pictures. But that's how easy it is. And that's just, that's just makeup. I'll wash it off. But something random. But what I wanted to say was, when the world feels like it doesn't understand, know that I do. All right, wild animals. I will see you next time.